Okay, guys, I'm going to try to blow through this pretty quick because I see price of Bitcoin's pushing up right now. So listen, I'm going to give you some price targets to pay attention to. We're also going to cover this uh, head and shoulder. This is playing out. I think about 13 days is when that potential crash is going to play out. Uh, this is also in confluence with the DXY chart. I'm going to cover that as well. So this is the head and shoulders I've been talking about. Uh, again, we're pushing up now, so I'm going to try to get this video up pretty quick and give you those price targets. Uh, this video I put up, this was on November 21st. This is where I was talking about we potentially come down to around 54000 This would be your point to buy in. So, so far, check on that. Uh, this was the last video I put out. This is where I said, look, you should probably buy around 54000 We're going to be pushing up, putting it on our right shoulder. So far, check on that. Uh, so how far we push up, we'll have to see. Um, you can see price is pushing up right now, so... Your current resistance at the time recording this video is 58,500. You can see we're, we haven't touched it yet. We either get rejected at this point or we'll push up to next resistance. I'll give you those targets. But I just want to show you how well this chart played out. Uh, this was later in the video, the last video I put out. Notice I gave you this price target, 58,131. Keep in mind this is at an angle. The further it out, out it is, the higher the price. Notice we had a perfect touch right here. Just showing you which line this is. You can see right here, this we had that perfect touch. It was support, support resistance, support, we broke it, and we came back up and we tested it. So again, if you have access to these charts, you know exactly when, when to get in and when to get out. Uh, let's see here. So I did make a tweet about this. And one great thing about these charts is when you have a, a lot of charts in Confluence, it, it tells you, look, that's a likely point to put in a short. So you should have bought in at 54000 This was a tweet I made 16 hours ago. You have to be subscribed to my charts to get access to my Twitter and our Discord. It says, okay, guys, uh, next key resistance to watch will be yellow line on K1 chart. Th these targets rank influence with resistance on both C1 and H1 charts, so I would expect a slight rejection from that point. If we get above, then expect more much more upside. And this is the tweet after. So hopefully everyone bought in at 54K. That was one hell of a pump. As you can see, we're getting rejected at the same point on three charts, H1, C1, K1. Refer to a previous tweet talking about this one. So this is what I was talking about. This was a point to put in your short. So you knew exactly, you knew to get in at, 50, at 54,000. Actually, we came down and tested this perfectly at 53,400, but you knew exactly when to get out. When you made contact with this line on the C1 chart, 58,300, uh, right up here, 58,400-ish on the H1 chart, and then this line we're going to cover here on the H1 chart. So three charts showed that was a point to get rejected, so it gives you more confidence to know that's likely point to short. So that's how that played out. Um, let me give you, so let's cover this right now, right? So we're already breaking above this resistance right now, okay? Uh, I told you if we push up, the highest I think we'll go will be this green line right here. This is the same green line from the G1 chart I covered in that previous video. Your next resistance to watch is right above us, right here at 59,304. That will be this trend line right here. Uh, you can see it's got a touch here and here. So that will be the next point to watch, 59,300. If we get above that point, I do think the top, depending when you make contact, if we push straight up, I think we'll get topped out 62,633. It's further out here. It could be 63,000. But I do think it's going to play out this way. No matter how this plays out, whether we're topped out here and we kind of do this, once you break this point, I expect us to have a crush. If we do push up, I do think this will be the top for the right shoulder. And then we'll come back down. Once you break this, we have a crush. And you'll notice I have this uh, red line. I'm going to cover this in just a sec. This is uh, the 13th of December. This is, this is where we make contact with this ring to potentially crush. Uh, let me see here. So the, the reason for that, let me go ahead and cover this DXY chart. I'm going to go to the Dow Jones. So the DXY, so currently your resistance, you see the dollar still pushing up. In the last video, I was telling you look, Bitcoin is a hedge against the U.S. dollar. Currently your resistance or your support right now for the DXY is around 95.63. And your resistance is up here at 97.14. Uh, but what I want to show you is on the DXY, so this chart I published a while ago. This is actually the live chart. You can see how well priced it is respecting uh, this, this green flip circle. Um, resistance, support, resistance, support, resistance. Came back up as support, resistance, resistance, support, resistance. Came down as support. And you can see what happens here. If you've been following me, you know when price is respecting these rings, once you break out of a ring, you get a big move. Now, granted, it could go either way. If we cross this point and the dollar just starts tanking, guys, you want to be long on Bitcoin. But we all know about this new COVID variant and what's going on around the world with supply chain issues and inflation. So if what I'm saying is we just happen to be crossing this ring at the same point that we'll be crossing this ring where I'm expecting us to have a major drop. I do cover this chart in detail, this chart here, so go back and watch that previous video. But my point is just because I'm expecting a major move for the DXY, the U.S. dollar on December 13th, 
it happens to be the same point we're going to cross this blue ring, which I think is going to initiate the major drop I was talking about, or possibly an 80% correction. So I would pay attention to that date. Something major is going to happen. Uh, let me see here. I did want to cover the Dow Jones really quick. So I was talking about the Dow Jones. Look, I made a tweet about this, and guys, you need to pay attention to this. If, if the markets are down, and you can also, um, I use this um, ig.com, but you can actually follow the markets. After market trading, I'll give you an idea which way uh, the price of Bitcoin is going to go. This was this was November 28th I posted this. Says, Do not forget after market trading for the indices to get an idea of price direction. Remember, Bitcoin typically uh, moves in the same direction. At the time of this tweet, uh, the Dow was down 83 points, and the price of Bitcoin was dropping. And then I made another tweet right here. I said, look at the Dow Jones. It's up 440 points. This was uh, 18 hours ago. So a lot of times when when you're trading, you'll, you'll notice if you get, when price starts pushing up, if you get a lot of volume, let me turn the volume on here. If you get a lot of a lot of volume, that can give you a little more, um, can be more comfortable buying in because if there's more volume, that means it's more likely it's going to push up higher. I use a volume on top of actually keeping keeping track of the aftermarket trading. Aftermarket trading when the markets are closed or even when the markets are open. If, if the markets are pushing up, Bitcoin's going to push up. It follows the markets. So when this, when I saw that the Dow was up 440 points, I saw the volume kicking up. That told me, yes, this you don't, you definitely want to stay in because it could push a lot higher. So again, my point is follow the markets. Markets down, Bitcoin down, markets up, Bitcoin up. Uh, so let me give you some price targets to pay attention to. So look, Currently, you can see we are finding resistance here. We'll see if we get above it. If you do, look, your next major resistance above is going to be right here at 59,885. Uh, your next resistance above that is going to be right here at 61,000. And then you will find a, you will get rejected at this, this yellow line. And the reason for that, the way I make these charts, your support and resistance level is already mapped out. Notice resistance, resistance, resistance. So the next yellow line will be right here. So if you push up, potentially we get rejected here and come down. But I do think that will be the top for that shoulder that plays along with this chart right here, around sixty-three thousand. A lot of confluence showing that would be the top for the right of uh, the right shoulder. Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to do this pretty quick. Hopefully, I don't forget anything. So let me give you some price targets on uh, the downside target. So if you come down, your next support is right here, fifty-six thousand four hundred fourteen. Your next strong support is around fifty-four thousand eight ninety-six. Will that put us below? Keep in mind, so if, if we come down, let's say we top out at 59,300. If we come down and we break, let's say, 55,000, then we would be breaking this key support, which is this support right here, which means I think that's we're going to start dropping. But I do think it's possible to push up higher to, to finish this right shoulder. But again, guys, I'm expecting once we make contact with this ring, just like back here, in uh, 2020 when we had our COVID crash, I think the same thing is playing out right here, which means our target could be all the way down here, just like back here in 2020. But guys, I think that's everything. Uh, let me give you price targets on the C1 chart. So again, you see we're getting rejected right here, 58,500. This is next resistance above, 59,700. And then again, I think the top is potentially going to be up here around... 62,660. So again, 58,486 current resistance. Next resistance to watch right at 59,700. Next resistance 60,815. Keep in mind when you make contact, depends on the price. And then I think the ultimate top again, 62,563,000. Uh, your current support below, uh, you can see it took a while for us to get above this point. We did top out here, and then, then this yellow line was resistance. We finally broke above it and got a pump. So your next support level below was 57,130. And your next major support level below that is 55,095. And then your next support level below that is around 52,824. But that will put us below this point here. And again, once we break this line, I expect us to have a crash. And that support level below, you might catch a small balance around 52,600. But again, once this head and shoulders plays out right here, left shoulder, head, right shoulder, once this breaks, that's when the major crash happens. But I think that's pretty much it, guys. If you want to access these charts, websites, octogarcrypto.com. Link will be pinned in the first comment in the description. Uh, that's it. Till the next video, trade safe, trade smart. I'm out.